Hi guys, uh, in the previous video, uh, we have installed the MySQL server and in this video, we will be continuing what we have done in the previous video and uh, in this, I have just uh, configured this MySQLD server uh, with check config to make sure that it should be up and running while the system reboots and the next step we will be doing a secure mysql secure installations before that we need to get the temporary password of root so that will be here and so this will be the temporary password just copy it somewhere okay and type this mysql secure installation the command is not found something problem there is a typo in the command just enter and it is asking for the root password which we copied before So I'll just paste this. So again, it will ask for the new password. You can give bit complex password for this. Otherwise, MySQL will not accept with a mixture of alpha numeric character and the number. Okay. okay the valid password plugin is installed on the server okay the subsequent steps will be run with the uh, change the password of the root uh, you can press y again it is asking for the password a new password So we want to continue, we can type it Y, yes, I want to remove anonymous user, you can type it Y, yes, I want to connect, yes, I want to remove the test database which we present, I want to reload the privileges, type Y, all done. So now you can log into the MySQL using user root and password which we were given earlier so this is the mysql if you want to show the databases you can do it here so these are the databases default databases which will be present while installing the mysql so then we will be creating user called temp which is required for the installation of cloud error just change the codes otherwise it will give error this is the temp user which is creating on mysql okay should work out okay we should give some complex password so that's what it's saying and we'll give some complex password here we'll give h one two three four five let's see whether it works or not i'm sorry for this again the same quotes is troubling us the same quotes we are troubling us and just make sure that it works I found temp sorry 
them at percentage identified by let's see whether it takes or not should it take let's see that does not certify still we are not done give me a second okay okay and that's it see so we just we have to give the pa I mean the complex password and I will be generating I will be giving this admin privileges to the temp user because uh, it should be able to create the another users for the cloud era manager okay with the grant option so this also work out and some thing again then privilege grant all privilege grant all privilege on star dot star to tem Uh, just uh, syntax error again we have to use use as I mean yes in print of privilege okay so um, that's all uh, we can uh, exit from the SQL now okay so for the for the installation of uh, cloud error manager so we have to create one more databases called SEM, SEM username and SEM password. So for that we will be using this syntax for the host name I will be taking from here host name minus F so this is the one I will be copying here okay and I'll be just copying and pasting here okay it should be all in one line so that is the problem okay and pasting and the temp password is Okay, the password is temp password is this. Okay, P password and the SEM host. Copy that the host where the database is installed. The host name is this. Just copy that and paste space okay then this is this is the database and the username and the password will be created here just type enter okay it's no file search it is saying because we have not done the installation still okay sorry guys I just missed the step okay after that uh, we have to install the Cloudera uh, manager components okay so for that uh, I'll be going here and in the manager machine I need these demons to be installed before creating the databases for this one is Cloudera manager demons and the server and the cloud manager agent and the oracle so I'll just copy this and I'll just paste 
So this will install the required components uh, from the local repository of Cloudera manager which we created earlier and this will configure uh, the Cloudera manager demons. So it is installing the Cloudera manager demo on the right now. And this is installing the Cloudera manager again. So it's downloaded, then it is installing now. So it will take some couple of uh, minutes to install all these components. So it is installing 5.10.1, so which was configured as a repo layer. So it, it depends upon uh, how much uh, bandwidth you have in your internet and the installation speed. So should be complete uh, by within a five minutes of time. If the internet speed is good, so it, it, it hardly takes around two to three minutes to complete the all the uh, demands required for Cloudera manager to be up and running. So it is installing the agent now and all the required components has been installed and dependency components also been installed okay so this is the one we have done this then you can go for the steps which was done earlier okay sorry for that so that step needs to be completed here so for that so this is the one just is enter state it is not there okay we will check why the uh, I'll just check maybe the slash is missing or something we'll just check on that okay okay uh, it is giving some here yeah. So I'll just check what is the year that it is. Uh, unknown has seen host. It is saying. Okay. And I'll just check and come back to you regarding. Hang on for a second. Okay, guys. Uh, so I was getting some. Uh, weird error like sql jdbc not working and all so i have troubleshooted something so i got to know that uh, uh, so we have to use a command called force to get rid of this error so we will be using this uh, scm preparation uh, database script uh, for uh, creating a scm database for cloud data manager so MySQL host will be the where the we have installed the MySQL binaries and the username is stamp and password so I have changed the password uh, before it was uh, uh, like password at one two three or something but but it was giving one more error like uh, uh, the uh, the password you have set is not up to the mark or something so. SEM host where the cloud data manager will be installed and SEM is the user, SEM is the password and um, SEM is the database here. So if you check and go back to the MySQL and if you check here, show databases. So you can see the SEM database has been used, I mean creator, you can use SEM database changed, you can see what are the tables, the, 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 it will say zero as of at the moment, so after you starting the service, so you'll be getting the tables over there, so we will go back to that, 
Close means exit. Okay, I'm going to do this once again. Okay, I'm just showing you clear. Okay, so now we need to start the Plotter Manager service and the agent. So, did we install agent? We'll check on this. So, it was the command we have copied. So, we have installed demons, server, agent, and um, the JDK files 1.7. So, we'll be starting the service now. Service, load error, you see in server status, you'll see. It's not there. You can start the data status. So starting the CM server, it has been started. Let's check the status again. It should be running, and you can also start the agent. Agent status. It's not running. Started. So both agent and the server is up and running now. You can go back now and issue the same things. It should show some tables here. So it is not showing me something here. Let me just check on that. Hang on for a second. I guess uh, I was getting error like uh, the temp user not able to connect and even the uh, SCM user is not able to connect so I was troubleshooted and I, I got the solution so the solution is like this so first you need to change the a password of SEM to the little bit complex okay and then you can execute that query so it execute perfectly without any uh, errors of the MySQL and then you should start the SEM server and the SEM agent so these both should be started then you can go back to the SQL and use SCM and as a database. So if you give a command show databases, it will show all the databases listed here. And yeah, the SCM is the new databases databases created uh, for the cloud data manager. So use the SCM database. Then use the show command. These are the uh, metadata tables uh, created for Cloudera Manager to record the things. So, if you add a host, it will go to the host, and if you want to describe, you can do that. Our describe does not exist, maybe some other hosts. Table does not exist. Okay. Maybe some other command to describe the uh, tables in the MySQL. We will just check. Describe MySQL. Looks fine. Just check. Describe CM dot. Uh, 
matrices is coming right so for y it is not coming for host host is capital so even it is coming. so these are the tables which are created uh, when we store the cloud era um, services so this is how we can configure the cloud data manager using the repository so now uh, we need to check whether we can able to log into the cloud era cm for that uh, you need to go to the this portion just click on this it will be a page which is not displayed and you should be able to connect now if everything goes well. Yes, guys. So, this is the window what we wanted for installation of CDH. Okay, so this is how we can configure Cloudera Manager using local repository and the external database which we used is mysql here if any doubts and clarification needed you can post the comments and please subscribe